Ever seen a photo and felt the ground being pulled out beneath you? Well, get ready, because today we have compiled for you 20 rare historical photos that have absolutely baffled even the sharpest scientific minds. From time travelers to a ghostly mystery and ancient enigmas, we're about to embark on a roller coaster of discovery that will blow your mind. Welcome to Grand Discovery. Enjoy watching. First up, we're about to blast off on a thrilling journey to a sky-high enigma that will leave you spellbound. Picture this. The year is 1942, and our stage is none other than the City of Angels, Los Angeles. Just when you thought you'd witnessed the pinnacle of the extraordinary, the night sky above Los Angeles burst into a display that defied belief. And get this, it wasn't the grand premiere of Hollywood's latest blockbuster. In an unprecedented frenzy, the military unleashed an unrelenting barrage of anti-aircraft artillery, setting the night ablaze as if the heavens themselves were ignited, resembling a scene from the 4th of July. Yet here's the mysterious catch. Not a single shred of evidence of any downed aircraft was ever unearthed. So was it a wartime false alarm? Or did we indeed play host to curious visitors from realms beyond our earthly understanding? The debate continues to grip the imagination, spinning a web of endless questions and intrigue. Let's fly away to the arid plains of Peru, where the ground itself tells us a story. The Nazca Lines, Beautiful and incredibly intricate geoglyphs etched into the earth depict everything from hummingbirds to spiders. However, there is more than just one odd thing about these drawings. Firstly, how on earth were these detailed designs made nearly 2,000 years ago without the technology that we have now? Next, the sheer sizes of the drawings pose a question. Why create art that's best viewed from the sky? Who were the creators of these amazing designs, and why did they make these designs? Well, some believe they're ancient runways for extraterrestrial visitors. Others think they're sacred paths walked during religious ceremonies. The line's precision and scale are undeniably impressive, hinting at advanced techniques or perhaps otherworldly guidance. Were the Nazca people communicating with the gods, or were they the galaxy's original landing strips? We'll probably never know now. Let's float down the peaceful waters of the Mekong River in Thailand. But there's a plot twist to this serene scene. Once a year, something truly extraordinary happens, and it's not for the faint of heart. We're talking about the mysterious glowing orbs that rise from the river's depths, a phenomenon famously known as the Naga Fireballs, named after the mythical serpent. Legends and folklore swirl around these enigmatic orbs. Some locals believe they are the breath of the Naga, a revered and mythical serpent marking the end of Buddhist Lent. Imagine witnessing a dragon's breath right in front of your very eyes. Now that's an interesting story to tell. But of course, even the skeptics have their theories too. Could it just be a natural gas release, a geological quirk, or even some clever human-made trickery? We don't know, and even scientists have yet to be able to figure this out. There's always room for skepticism, and it keeps the mystery alive. Who knows what secrets the Mekong River holds? Journey with us to a time cloaked in mysticism and the supernatural, Eusapia. Palladino's name echoes in hushed tones, stirring a concoction of awe, skepticism, and fear. But why? Well, this notorious medium boasted a range of psychic abilities, but this one peculiar photograph stands out, which makes you stop right in your tracks. A seemingly impossible moment frozen in time, a table defying gravity, levitating midair during a seance. Was it a testament to her unparalleled power or her ability to enchant the gullible? Believers say it's irrefutable proof, while skeptics saw deceit in the shadows, or really bad Photoshop. The picture became the epicenter of fierce debates. Any picture like that would stir controversy. What do you think? Is it real or is it a hoax? Let us know in the comments below. Now onto an architectural mystery. The Eiffel Tower, an enduring symbol of Paris and architectural genius, holds a mysterious allure. The mysteries surrounding the Eiffel Tower begin with its sheer size and scale. 
Rising to a towering height of 984 feet, this monumental structure, built by a mere 300 men in 1887, conceals secrets that continue to intrigue the curious. This magnificent iron lattice structure soared to unprecedented heights in an era long before the modern construction equipment we take for granted today. The Eiffel Tower's enduring mystery lies not just in its towering presence, but in the audacious engineering and teamwork that created this iconic landmark. How did a relatively small team of 300 laborers manage to complete a 984-foot-tall building? It's a question that still persists to perplex scientists. Family photos are usually all about love, togetherness, and capturing a special moment. The Cooper family certainly thought that moving into a new house was definitely a big deal, and taking a photo to celebrate sounds totally normal. However, they were in for the shock of their lives. It wasn't a family all smiles coming together for a group picture. There in the picture, a sinister figure, like it's falling from the ceiling, casting a dark, ominous shadow over the scene. Uh-oh. Is it a ghostly intruder, some spirit from the great beyond, photobombing their picture? Or is it just a camera glitch, a trick of the light that turned into a creepy optical illusion? Some folks say it's just a nightmarish case of double exposure, you know, like when you accidentally get two images on the same frame. Regardless of what's really happening in that photo, it's become the stuff of legend. The Cooper falling ghost photo has been chilling spines for decades. So, if you're ever in the mood for a mystery, Dig into the world of photography and you might just uncover some spine-tingling surprises along the way. Come with us to the Azure Waters off Hook Island in the 1960s, where an enigma awaits us beneath the waves. The Lesueurs, during a seemingly ordinary day, stumbled upon something extraordinary. They captured a video of an aquatic behemoth, its serpentine form coiling through the deep, poised between legend and reality. These tantalizing images set the world of cryptozoologists and marine biologists abuzz, each frame a gateway to endless debates and speculation. What was a thing, and where did it even come from? Was it an undiscovered marine colossus, or perhaps a cleverly crafted deception? Theories abound, from ancient sea monsters to optical illusions. Yet the Hook Island monster remains shrouded in uncertainty, eluding any definitive explanation. Will we ever unravel the enigma of this watery beast, or will it forever remain Hook Island's captivating secret? In the history of bizarre inventions, you might stumble upon the strangest one yet, the Reading Isolator. Conjured into existence by the brilliant Hugo Gernsback in 1925, this gadget seems straight out of a sci-fi tale or a movie about the plague. But what if we told you its purpose was far from fiction and actually very realistic? This invention was crafted meticulously to ensnare its wearer into a cocoon of unyielding focus because it promised an escape from the cacophony of the outer world. It sounds like something introverts would want to own, doesn't it? By narrowing vision, muffling sounds, and gifting a surge of fresh oxygen, every distraction was muted and the wearer could focus on their task. Ah, the lengths to which we go for a moment of pure concentration. Gernsback, a titan in the realm of science fiction and innovation, envisioned a world where undistracted reading was not just a dream, but a reality. But one can't help but wonder, was it a masterstroke of genius or a whimsical folly of the past? What do you think? Would you want to have one? Turn your gaze to the early 20th century skies where reports of mysterious airships stirred imaginations. So what's the deal with these mysterious airships? Well, that's where the real mystery comes in. Some folks thought they were the brainchild of a super-secret inventor, someone who'd unlocked the secrets of flight long before the Wright brothers. Imagine that, a genius working in the shadows. But here's where things get wild. Others speculated these airships were actually from another world. Yeah, you heard me right. Imagine beings from a distant galaxy just cruising around, checking out our planet like tourists. Talk about a mind-blowing concept. These weren't your typical blimps. They moved with purpose, with technology seemingly beyond their time. Were these the creations of a secret inventor years ahead of his peers? The sightings sparked wonder and fear, 
and the tales of these enigmatic airships continue to float through the annals of history. Now get ready for something really bizarre and straight out of the E.T. movie. Let's plunge into the night, where security cameras in Fresno captured something truly strange. It all started when a man installed security cameras to figure out why his dogs were barking every night. Imagine watching back footage, and instead of seeing a human burglar or an animal, you see eerie, stick-like figures gliding gracefully like they belong here. No team of experts was able to figure out who they were. Even when these creatures were spotted in Yosemite National Park, even with a team racking their brains together, nobody could figure out why they were and what they were doing. Some say they're creatures from another dimension, slipping briefly into our world. Others believe they're optical illusions, shadows playing tricks in the night. But those who've seen the footage can't shake the feeling. There's more to the world than meets the eye. The Fresno Nightcrawlers, as they're called, remain a haunting enigma, a dance of shadows in the dark. What do you think could be the case? Let us know in the comments below. Whispers of ghostly tales have a way of drawing us into the world of old, forgotten places where the past lingers like a specter in the darkness. Now, imagine stepping into Bachelors Grove Cemetery, a place where history refuses to rest in peace. Amid the myriad of eerie stories that cling to this place, one photograph stands out in chilling prominence. This photograph captures a translucent figure, appearing to be a woman perched solemnly upon a tombstone. But what's the story behind this eerie image? Is she a lingering spirit trapped in this earthly realm by some unfinished business, forever bound to this desolate place? Or could it be a trick on the eyes, perhaps a result of a camera glitch or a simple optical illusion? The Phantom of Bachelors Grove Cemetery, with its enigmatic presence, continues to captivate and send shivers down the spines of those brave enough to seek it out. The mysteries that pervade old, forgotten places like this one continue to intrigue and chill those who dare to look, beckoning us to explore the unexplained depths of our world. Here's a mystery that can't be solved. The Piri Race Map. The Piri Rice Map stands as one of the oldest post-Columbian world maps in existence. This map, too, has perplexed and enchanted scholars for generations, due to its remarkably precise depiction of the recently discovered North and South American continents. The accuracy and detail evoke a sense that a cartographer might have conceived it well ahead of his time. Yet, this map holds an even more tantalizing enigma, for it appears to illustrate Antarctica, an icy expanse not officially spied on by Europeans until nearly 400 years later, in 1820. As a result, the Piri race map has given birth to myths and legends of its own. Some contend that its level of sophistication defies its temporal origins. Others entertain the idea that it could be evidence of extraterrestrial influence, suggesting that beings from the cosmos may have had a hand in its creation while orbiting our planet. Theories have emerged proposing an earlier European sighting of Antarctica and even the possibility of hidden pyramids concealed within the icy continent's mysteries. Moving on to the annals of mainstream archaeology, deep within the Al Ubaid archaeological site lies an astonishing enigma. Dated at 7,000 years old, these artifacts defy convention, portraying humanoid figures with distinct lizard-like features. Male and female statues captured in various poses reveal elongated heads, almond-shaped eyes, and tapering faces. Their purpose remains a riddle. They don't appear to be ceremonial or religious, according to experts. So, what did these enigmatic lizard figurines signify to the ancient Ubedians? While the snake is a well-known symbol representing various deities in ancient civilizations, many archaeologists doubt that these lizard-like creatures were objects of veneration as gods. The question lingers. Is there a connection between the serpent's symbolism and these perplexing lizard representations? It's 1964. A sunny day just like any other, and a father decides to capture a candid moment with his little girl. You'd think it's a picture-perfect scene, right? Well, wait until you see what happens next. When that photograph develops, there's a twist that nobody saw coming. 
Behind the innocent child is a figure, and it's no ordinary figure. It eerily resembles a spaceman, like someone straight out of a sci-fi movie. When captured, the image sent ripples across the entire internet. Some have speculated that the mysterious figure in the photograph could be Annie, the wife of the little girl, Templeton, who was wearing a pale blue dress and had a dark, bobbed haircut. It is also suggested that when the image is darkened and rotated, the figure appears more like a typical person seen from behind. On the other hand, some have connected the photograph to a reported UFO sighting during a failed missile launch in Australia. However, none of these explanations have been definitively proven, and the mystery remains unsolved. So here's the million-dollar question. Was it an unexpected visitor, an entity from the stars captured in that fleeting earthly moment? Or could it be nothing more than a trick of light and shadow, just an innocent anomaly in the photograph? In the history of fast food folklore, one familiar face emerges, a visage both charming and uncanny, Ronald McDonald himself. But did you know this beloved clown mascot of the McDonald's dynasty had darker beginnings? Just a warning, this is not for the faint of heart. If you don't usually have a fear of clowns, this will definitely change your mind. The first glimpse of Ronald brought to life by the enigmatic Willard Scott in the turbulent 1960s is incredibly unsettling, a far cry from the friendly jester we recognize today. With wild eyes, a peculiar outfit, and a tray of magic delights, this earlier incarnation seemed to dance on the line between whimsy and eerie. He might as well have stepped off the screen of a horror movie. Yet, as decades passed, Ronald transformed, shedding his mysterious and creepy allure for a more childish and comfortable charm, guiding the golden arches to global fame. Will his tale intrigue or bewilder you? We're taking a sad journey back to the aftermath of World War I in the year 1919. After the Great War, World War I's pilots, veterans, and brothers-in-arms gather for a commemorative photo. They've been through hell and back, and they're honoring their fallen comrades. But here's where it gets eerie and bone-chilling. When you look closely at the photo, something strange happens. There's an unexpected guest, a faint face peeking out from behind one of the men, like a phantom from another time. It seems entirely out of place, and it's enough to send chills down your spine. Now here come the whispers, spreading like wildfire. Could it be the spirit of a fallen comrade returning to join his brothers one last time? Some folks believe it's Freddie Jackson, a fellow pilot who met his end just three days before this picture was taken. But here's the twist. It seems like Freddie doesn't even know he's dead. So what's the deal here? Is it a genuine ghostly encounter, or is it just a quirk of old photography, a bizarre anomaly that tricked the lens? The photo remains a haunting reminder of the bonds forged in the crucible of battle and the shadows of those who didn't make it back. It's a sobering reflection on the heavy toll of war and the ghosts that may linger long after the guns have fallen silent. Let's go to the chilly landscapes of Norway, where the Hesdalen Valley holds a luminous secret. For decades, locals and tourists alike have been captivated by strange lights dancing across the night sky. These aren't your typical northern lights that we all dream of visiting. They're something entirely different. Glowing orbs of white, yellow, and red illuminate the valley, moving with a purpose, defying explanation. However, scientists have ventured theories from ionized iron dust to sulfurous fumes. But for many, the erratic movements and patterns suggest something more, otherworldly. Could this be nature's grand light show, or are we witnessing signals from intergalactic neighbors? Maybe they just want to say hello. Either way, these lights have really got us wondering where they could be coming from or who is sending us a message. Time for a story. Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin, two guys with a passion for cryptozoology, ventured into the wilderness, and what they came back with shook the world. On that film reel, there it was, a massive, hairy, two-legged creature, the infamous Bigfoot, strutting through a clearing. The footage is a bit shaky, but the message was clear. This might just finally be the conclusive evidence of North America's most elusive mystery beast. But hold on, not so fast. The skeptics jumped in. They suggested it could be an expertly executed hoax, 
a person in a well-made gorilla suit hamming it up for the camera. Or it could just be awful Photoshop. Fast forward decades, and the experts still cannot make up their minds no matter what. Some say they see real biological movements like the genuine deal, while others swear it's just a cleverly photoshopped scheme. One thing's for sure. If you want to see the gold standard for Bigfoot lore, you should look at the Patterson-Gimlin film. Whether it's the real deal or not, it's a piece of the puzzle that baffled us for years, and it's a wild reminder that sometimes the truth is more slippery than the legends themselves. The day of President John F. Kennedy's assassination was an unforgettable day indeed. November 22, 1963, is a date that's forever etched in history. As tragedy unfolded and chaos gripped the streets with JFK's motorcade under attack, something incredibly strange happened. In the midst of the shock and horror of a live murder, one figure stood out from the crowd. A woman, calm as can be, with a camera in her hands, filming as everyone ran for their lives. You can't miss her, thanks to that distinctive headscarf, which is why they call her the Babushka Lady. Here's the shocking twist. Nobody was able to identify who she was or where that film ended up. Investigations left, right, and center failed to reveal her true identity or track down her film. You know what happens when there's a good mystery conspiracy theory start popping up. Some say she was a government agent, and some believe she was just an everyday bystander caught up in a historic moment. I mean, seriously, who on earth was she? And what happened to that precious footage? In America's criminal underworld, one name stands hauntingly apart, the Zodiac Killer. Having emerged as a serial killer from the dark and creepy shadows in the late 1960s, the Zodiac Killer's name would shake even the bravest heart. But what made the Zodiac even more chilling? His audacious game of cat and mouse. Brazenly mocking authorities, he peppered the media and police with confounding ciphers, mystic letters, and chilling phone calls, always staying one step ahead. Every cryptic message was a macabre invitation to a puzzle no one could solve. His identity? A riddle that decades later still sends shivers down the spine. The Zodiac wasn't just a killer. He was a master of psychological warfare, turning public fascination into paralyzing fear. Friends, thanks for exploring with us on Grand Discovery. If you enjoyed these amazing revelations, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen. It's unbelievable.